That was a bad decision, but uh, I did it. first you guys probably noticed that I deleted my last video and that's because someone who I used to know used my video to try and uh, bully me in a sense I used to know them they're not my friend nor will they ever be so um, I probably that video because even though they're not mentioned in it at all no one about them I'm just not gonna take it, so yeah. So congrats if you watch this. Congratulations. Please don't talk to me anymore. And okay, today I'm doing a Q and A that I said I would be doing for a really long time. So I tweeted out for you guys to ask questions so this wouldn't flop, and y'all, y'all came through. So I'm gonna answer those questions. I'm gonna like put up little screenshots of like your guys' Twitters and stuff because I love you guys. And let's get to it. Okay, so first question comes from Lola. And actually there's multiple questions in some of these, so yeah. Her first question is, where do I live? I currently live in the Midwest, but I am moving to Maine in a few weeks. So yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, my second question, her second question <laughs> is, am I your favorite child? Yes, Lola, you are my favorite child. Dad aesthetic forever. Third question is, how long have you been listening to Youngblood? I'm gonna say around a year. I think I started listening to them last August, like the first week. So, almost a year, so. We're almost at our year point, baby. I'm excited. Okay, love you, Lola. Fave child. Okay, next question comes from Linda. Also, if you haven't, if you guys don't follow these people, like go follow them. They're amazing. Love. Linda said, "What's your favorite Young Blood song?" My favorite Young Blood song, <laughs> Young Blood song, Jesus, is "Medication" because it's about the facade people put on with taking medication and how like more medication makes you seem more normal to people and with like mental health and stuff obviously i feel as though like i've been put in that position and i just relate to it a lot and i feel like it's a really good song that it's very underrated in a sense so it's my favorite song and feeling like getting it tattooed somewhere i don't know where maybe the wrist maybe the ribs ideas would be loved below okay third questions third question <laughs> questions from hannah also my little child what is your other favorite band so my light <laughs> green day foo fighters driver era oh my god no, no, no. my brain Hot Chili Peppers, One Direction, still out there I hope. I mean, we all had that One Direction love. Five Seconds of Summer was good. I mean, I'm trying to get back into them, but I really don't know. Um, Altered State's really good. I started listening to them, they're very good. Um, I'm gonna include artists because I don't think that's like a long enough list. Um, Logic, Chance, g Easy. Olivia O'Brien. Um, ah. Ah. Halsey's pretty cool. Hobo Johnson. I don't know what in my crack brain was like, don't listen to Hobo Johnson. But then, you know what? I listened to Hobo Johnson and I was like, my brain is like, what? I, I was just like, Hobo Johnson's really cool. <laughs> 
And then, um, I mean, I don't know. I would have to like think about that more. Um, Alec Benjamin, Alec Benjamin, yes. And then I have to think of more, but definitely those, really cool. Um, future career, hopefully a pediatric neurologist would be super cool. So my plan is at the moment, um, I'm trying to minor in either film or music at the moment. So if I could do something with that too, that'd be really cool. And if I was to do that, I'd probably want to do something in film production or music production. Number one goal in life, probably to make people happy. That's what it usually is. My like sense of self is to make people happy. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I just, I'm here to make people happy. It's my like strength, but my weakness in a sense, I would say. But yeah, that's usually my goal, to make people happy, and this is why I do this. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't to make people happy and joyful days, and I don't know. Yeah. What song would you describe, what song would describe you best, and why? So, this is a really, uh, winded question, <laughs> because, I don't know. But, um... You got, you got me winded. I don't know. I would have to say at the moment. <laughs> My brain's going blank because it really doesn't know. I kind of want to say if it's from young, <laughs> I don't, oh. Everyone has it like one song but they're like, yes, this song is my favorite song and it describes me and I'm just like, I don't know, dude. I feel like either medication or 21st century liability probably described me the best for just because of like what they mean in sense because of just how I like to promote myself as someone who is trying to find rights for people and try to break that facade that we all have or kind of like what I used to be in a sense. Like I don't want to be who I used to be. And then, I mean, one song that's always like stuck with me um, that I have skated to, that I've loved for a long time, that I've literally just like, just held in my heart that's the most like cliche, like Green Day song of the entire book is wake me up with some pepper and you're all gonna be like, ew, like she's a fake Green Day fan and like I get it. But um, I skated to that song when my grandfather died. I don't know, it's always kind of like stuck with me and it's always kind of been that song. It's like, oh, like you've had a challenge and like you're gonna grow from it. Like you're gonna be able to grow from it and it's always gonna be okay because there's someone waiting on the other side and it's gonna be okay. So I don't know. If that's like the best answer, I'll probably have to think about that answer more. I don't know. I'm so sorry, it's not the clearest answer. Ah. And our last question comes from Cora. And she said, How did you discover Youngblood? I discovered Youngblood <laughs> in the dumbest way possible. I was on YouTube and I was just chilling. You know when your YouTube pops up and it's like the home page and it's like these are like little suggested videos for you. Well, um, mine, I saw this like little, um, this little man and I was like, oh, he looks a little weird, but like, this video looks interesting. Let me just like click, click. And I was like, the song's called Psychotic Kids. And I was like, Let me check her out. Then I was like, hmm. Let me let me check out another video. And guess what that video was? Uh, that video ended up being like medication and then damn, we all got there. And then uh yeah, discovered it on YouTube right after his first album released. And uh we just, we just tumbled into this wonderful little thing called, uh, I stand him too much. 
and it's kind of sad. <laughs> but no, I found him on YouTube and I was like, this kid looks interesting. Let me just clickety doo dah because your girl was bored. And uh, yeah, he fell in love and now we stand him too much and we wear too much of his merch. But uh, that's all I got for our questions. I was said so weirdly. That's all I got for my questions. And yeah, definitely found Youngblood in kind of, it's not the weirdest way possible. Like the weirdest way possible would be, be like, if I saw him on the street and I was like, who are you? <laughs> but no, I hope you all enjoyed this video and definitely I'll probably do another Q&A one day. But uh, yeah, for now, enjoy and hope to see you next week. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know.